Okay, welcome to this video tutorial, which is going to be based on a demonstration of Environment Manager version 8. This demo is not at all going to be a replacement for technical training. This is just to give a demonstration of the main features of Environment Manager. The demo is always part of the sales process. We need to understand three main, main areas, who are we actually demoing to, why are we actually demoing the software, why are they interested in the products, and also we need to make it relevant to the actual customer themselves and so make it bespoke for, the, for them. First thing I'm going to go through is the, the Environment Manager, the UEM slide. Here what we're seeing on this slide is on one side we've got the applications and on the other side we've got the users. The main thing we're actually going to be doing with the user environment management, management is delivering those applications to the users. Now we have different types of delivery uh, methods. The traditional ones that we've seen in the past, published applications, terminal servers and locally installed on the PCs, but new and up and coming we've seen in the virtual desktops, streamed applications and provisioned OS. Now we're delivering these to the different types of users. All these users are accessing these applications via different uh, different endpoints, including their laptops, virtual desktops and even handheld devices. What we find is that there's three main challenges in delivering these applications to the users. The consistent and contextual user environment, protecting the user environment and responsiveness to the user environment. Now we're looking at the Environment Manager product today only, which is looking at keeping that consistent and contextual user environment. By consistent, we mean it doesn't matter what type of delivery mechanism the user is receiving that application from or that desktop, we want to make that desktop look and feel the same as it does on any of the other delivery mechanisms. So one day a user logs on to a, an actual PC, the next day they log on to a, a terminal server session, a published desktop, we want that desktop to look and feel exactly the same. What we also want to do is keep it contextual as well. So, Dependent on a user is actually logging on a corporate LAN, we want to give them access to all the, uh, the network shares, all the printers and all the applications, but then if the, if the user then logs on in a cyber cafe, we may want to restrict what resources the user can get to there, so making it contextual. Moving on to see where the actual products fit into the user environment management solution. What we see at the top, we have the consistent and contextual user environment, and that's all to do with the policy and the personalization management, which is how what Environment Manager looks after. That's what we class as the user personality. The policy, what we'll provide and give the user access to with regards to administrators, what can they see with regards to network shares, drive mappings, etc., and then also capturing that user personalization. So now I'll move on to a, a demonstration. Just to give you a, a brief introduction to the demo environment that I've got set up here, the machine that you can see at the moment is my AppSense management server. This is a, a 2008 box, but it can actually be a 2003 server as well. It's actually set up as a web server, so IIS version 6 is installed with .NET, uh, .NET version 3 and the BITS extensions enabled. This machine is also set up as a, an AD domain controller. Now this is just to uh, reduce the number of actual virtual machines that I have in this environment because at the moment I've got this server running as a virtual machine and two XP desktops as well. So just to, obviously in this environment as well as having the, the desktops etc we need the users. So looking at the users in my environment here I've got two users. One user is an engineer, it's called engineer. This user is part of the engineering user group. I also have an accountant who's a member of the finance user group. So these two users require two different desktops. One needs the, uh, an accountant's desktop and the other one needs an engineer's desktop. The one thing these two users have in common is that they both want to get logged on to their desktop as quickly as possible. So how do we do that? Well, in the different types of profiles that you can give to a user, we're using the mandatory profile. The reason why we do that is the mandatory profile is tiny in size. As you can see there, it's only 512 kilobytes in size, so it's going to be nice and fast to get that user logged onto the desktop. And it's also read-only, so it's corruption-free. If, however, being a read-only profile, the user made any changes without Environment Manager, then any of those changes made in that session will be lost. But that's what Environment Manager is going to capture. 
So I'm now going to log on to one of the desktops as, as my first user, the engineer. I'm going to create a remote desktop session to keep it all within this one window. So here I'm logging on to XP desktop number one as the engineer. Now at the moment, the engineer is not part of the environment manager enabled group. So all we're basically doing here is loading the mandatory profile. As you can see, it loaded nice and fast because it's only a 512k profile, but as you can see, it's a very, very basic profile. There's no icons on the, on the desktop, there's no background that's been set. If I go into the start menu and have a look in my computer, we don't have any drives being mapped, no group policies applying, so all the types of things that you would use standard methods to a, a group policy uh, and using login scripts, we're not doing any of that at the moment. So a very, very basic profile with Environment Manager disabled. So if I log that user off, and I put the engineer into the AppSense Manage group, which basically enables Environment Manager, and do the exact same thing. So logging onto the same desktop, XP Desktop 1, as the engineer. As far as AD is concerned, we're still loading the basic mandatory profile, but because Environment Manager can now see this user as part of the engineering user group, we've now got the engineering background that's been set. We've also got the, stereo uh, the uh, engineer application here, Microsoft Paint firing up. We also have different icons on the desktop which weren't there before, so we've got the engineering app shortcut, shortcut to Internet Explorer, etc. If I go into the start menu and have a look at the old programs, what we're actually doing here with Environment Manager is chopping down the user's start menu, the programs menu, so only giving visibility to applications that we want this user group to have. So here my, this user group has access to a number of accessories, has access to Adobe Reader, and only a couple of the Office applications. If I go into my computer, we see that the user has the engineering map drive, and also we should see that the user has the engineering printer as well. So what we've done here, we've customised this desktop, that very plain uh, mandatory profile, which you could imagine to be your uh, pooled desktop in a virtual desktop environment, and we've customised that pooled desktop to make to look and feel like the engineer's desktop.